Mayor, good morning. Good morning. What an absolute honor and a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you very much. St. Elmo's Fire is one of my favorite movies, and so I kind of feel humbled talking to you. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Okay, now we have you marked. <laughs> <laughs> She's marked. <laughs> but then, because of St. Elmo's Fire, now every time I see you pop up on, you know, like 24 or Grey's Anatomy, I'm like, right. oh, my gosh, there's Mayor. There she is. <laughs> Well, good. So you feel like uh, I'm your friend. That's good. Yeah. Did I read about you recently that you're a, an accomplished musician and dancer? Really? Oh, my gosh. Couldn't be further from the truth in the <laughs> dance department, but um, I'll work on that. Okay. No, it's, uh, I, I have made a couple, three records, uh, so that is a, a nice chunk of my life, which I uh, try and keep going. But it's on a very modest level, and the dance thing, mm. don't know where that rumor started but well, we're going to continue that yeah rumor. we're going to continue <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your story and you're sticking with it yeah, yeah. <laughs> my awkwardness <laughs> so uh mayor you've got a, a big series coming up here on history isn't this the uh, second time you've worked with uh, kevin costner it's our fourth time really Ooh, what other times have you worked with them we started on wyatt earp um i'm crazy about the man as an actor and as a person so we hit it off on that movie then we did the war, and then we did Swing Vote, his movie. It was not not too long ago. When he called about this one, he said, I'm doing the Hatfields and the McCoys for history, and you're going to do it. And I said, great. The Hatfields and the McCoys. Give us a brief history lesson on this. This was a famous feud that started over a pig, Mayor. Well, that's one of the um, there's theories. Yeah. so much myth attached to this. There was a, a trial over a pig. Uh, that has kind of taken a humorous tone uh, over the years. But, uh, in fact, uh, the two patriarchs fought side by side in the Civil War. One of them left before the war was over, Hatfield. The other one was uh, stuck, uh, imprisoned for an additional year. So the McCoy, uh, everyone took for dead. Mm -hmm. He comes back a year later. Um, so, and the feud started probably while McCoy was in prison because I think one of his brothers was killed by a Hatfield uh, cousin or something. So he came back, there was bad blood anyway. Mm -hmm. But then this pig thing happened. And really what that's about is that uh, they, they were, they had, Pigs running around, and they would, uh, you know, those a, a pig could feed a family for a month. Yeah, um, yeah. So when one goes missing and or possibly stolen, it was a yeah. kind of a big deal. We're going to have to start wearing T-shirts. One says Team Hatfield, yeah. and the other one says Team, Team McCoy. McCoy. <laughs> <laughs> we went there. I won't lie. That happened on the set. <laughs> you couldn't avoid it, <laughs> unfortunately. Mayor, we, we absolutely adore you on screen. Thank you so much for your time. Once again, the Hatfields and the McCoys on Act History. Actress Thanks Mayor Winningham, thank you so much this morning. Great to speak with you. Have a great day.